Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your favorite troubleshooting channel, Fix Netflix YouTube channel. Are you frustrated with your Toshiba DV not connecting to Wi Fi? You're not alone. Don't worry though, because in this video, we'll show you through some easy steps for non technical people to fix the issue and get your Toshiba DV back online. If you stay with us all the way to the end of this video and try each of these methods, and there is very high probability that this problem will be solved for you. Before we start, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Fix Netflix, for more helpful tech tips and tutorials. If you face any problems or still have same experience, then don't delay to inform me on comment section. I will be happy to help you and answer your all queries as soon as possible. So, let's start it. Step 1. Check Internet Connection. If your DVE is not connecting to Wi-Fi, the first step is to troubleshoot the network connection. Start by checking if other devices in your home can connect to the Wi-Fi network. If other devices are working fine, then the issue may lie with the TV itself. Step 2. Restart Router, Modem and TV Our second step is to restart your router and TV. This should be your go-to move for any network issues because it can often solve problems not just for your TV but for all your connected devices. First, unplug the power cable from your router and TV. Then wait for 2 minutes. Then press and hold the TV power button for 10 seconds to discharge all electricity from main board of TV. Then plug the power cable of TV back in and wait for it to restart. Step 3. Replace router closer to the TV. Sometimes, your router may be too far from your TV. Try moving it closer to establish a better connection. Ensure that your TV is within range of the Wi-Fi router and there are no physical obstructions that could weaken the signal. Step 4. Update TV firmware. Your TV might not be running on the latest firmware version. Now, this comes with frequent bugs. So your TV running on an older firmware version could also be a reason behind Wi-Fi connection issues. Step 5. Use a 5 GHz Wi-Fi band. Using the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band can help improve the performance of your Wi-Fi connection, as it can be less crowded and less prone to interference than the 2.4 GHz band. However, it is essential to note that the 5 GHz band has a shorter range than the 2.4 GHz band, so it may be less effective if you try connecting devices far away from the Wi-Fi router. Step 6. Connect an Ethernet cable to TV. If you cannot connect your TV to your Wi-Fi network, try connecting it to your network using an Ethernet cable instead. This can be a good option if you are experiencing issues with the Wi-Fi signal or want to ensure a stable and reliable connection. Step 7. Connect to a mobile hotspot. If you are unable to connect your TV to the Internet, you may be able to connect to a hotspot using your mobile device. A hotspot might be helpful if you have a temporary network outage or your streaming device is outside of Wi-Fi range and need to set up a DV powered by DV operating systems. Step 8. Reset your TV. When all else fails, it's time for a factory reset. Just be aware that this will erase all your settings, accounts, and apps, returning your TV to its original state. So, that's the whole story, my friends. We've covered the steps to fix Wi-Fi or internet connection issues on your Toshiba DV. If you face any problems or still have same experience, please leave a comments here. I will be happy to help you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Fix Netflix for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.